Hi, everybody. My name is G.S. Bailey, and I do military drills. And if you like what you see, or if you find me at least mildly entertaining, don't forget to like and subscribe down here. Uh oh, my, my hand's going away again. I got. I might have to get in the way like this so you can see my hand. There we go. Yeah, I'd like. Yeah, it disappears really bad. And behind me must be flesh tone colored, I guess, or my flesh tone color at least. And don't forget. And don't forget. Leave a tip over here. The tip jar is right there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right in today. And we're doing pinwheels versus the parade gate tool. I am on a six to five grid today. You can tell because the hash marks are in a little bit like it is on a college ruled field or a Texas field. So I'm going to start and I'm going to show you right here on my production sheet. I've got a tab at zero and a tab at 56. I just went whoosh and went, made a big old number just to make sure that I could get everybody through here on the block. Now, as for this little group here of two different squads of three each, <clears throat> hang out for a minute. And I'll show them to you in a minute. That'll be, um, that'll be pinwheels done right or I might jump and i'll also probably jump into an eight to five grid and have it hit there too okay so but first off let's get get our block here i'm going to highlight our block and i'm going to hit the parade gate tool which is kind of neat it shows you how it shows you rounding the corner basically at a parade and is it angle 90 or 180 degree turn if you have it do 180 degrees you know what's going to happen they're going to go the opposite direction you're all like that Okay, so we'll try it a little bit each way. So I'm going to make sure that my pivot point, no, no, I take that back. I'm going to show you a mess up first. So I'm going to make the pivot point a stationary pivot. This is a mess up. I'm doing it on purpose. And I want you to watch both here and in real view. Make sure to rewind if you can. Okay, so here they go. Now, you see the big collide right here, right? Let me try to get it over there to them. You know, they're going very, very scrunched in like that, which is exactly what we don't want. So I'm going to move that pivot point, okay? And you see how they finished right in there. So let's instead, I'm going to move the pivot point down some so that they're not as congested in the parade gate. Okay, so here we go. Now you see there on my X's, they're not as congested. And you see here in the real view, they're getting kind of close up in here. And you may want to move that pivot point a little further down. Okay, you never know. The other way to round the corner when you're on a parade is to do what is called a minstrel turn, which I'll have to show you that one day very, very soon. Trademark. Uh-huh. So there we go. That is the parade gate tool. Now, next up, and in just a second, because I've got to take one, uh, uh, one second break here, I will show you with a 180 degree turn. All right. Give me just one second, though. I do have to take a small break for me. All right. I do apologize over that. So let's hit uh, 180 degrees here. And also, because I'm on a six to five grid, make sure that is set to six to five. If you're on eight to five, gri um, eight to five grid trying this, guess what you have to do? Change the six to an eight. Exactly. Now, you see, they're going to gate at the blue line, which I made on a yard line. Uh, but I'm going to have them go 180 degrees now. I think they're, they did not march off the field. Thank heavens for that. All right. So let me go ahead and get them ready. I'm going to get my real view spot ready here too, because I just have to get it to the 40. Yeah. Make sure that the tens there. Okay. I think I've got it. They don't show me the figures for some reason, I don't know. All right, so here we go. Now they're gonna do a 180 degree turn in 16 counts. Sorry. <laughs> they're going, this the people at this end, they're gonna be running, aren't they? <laughs> there they go, there they go. <laughs> 
why don't we change that? I forgot to change my count, didn't I? Um, so why don't we make it a 32 count and see, and, and then that should do it, right? Let, let's try this again. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's a little better, isn't it? They're not running as hard, but they are kind of doing a huge adjusted step here to go 180 degrees because I made my ranks a little too large. <laughs> and that's all there was to it. I just made my ranks a little too large. I did that on purpose. I just wanted to see what it looked like, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm hitting escape. Go ahead and play around with that a little bit, okay? Let me hit escape. And now it's trying to auto save because I've been here forever. Um, now. I'm gonna delete this block out, okay? So let me get them all deleted and I'm gonna delete the performers too. So there we go. Cause I wanna focus on my couple squads that are over here. And here we've got what I'm gonna show you are pinwheels done right, okay? So first off, let me make sure I'm gonna highlight this crew. Now, first off, I'm gonna have them face the fixed direction, which is down toward the audience. And you're gonna see and you know, you're gonna see how that works out. It's, it's not, but I also need to change a page tab too before I forget. So we're gonna delete page tab 56, okay. I'm going to add a page tab just at eight because that's all I need right now. I'm making an eight count pinwheel. So instead of the parade gate tool, I always have used the rotator. And I don't know why I didn't highlight both of them because I can make it both go at the same time. So make sure to hit the left mirror here. The right one will make them go in contrasting ways. So if one goes down, the other one's gonna go up like that, okay? But this is gonna make them all rotate the same way. So let me set a stationary pivot, okay? And remember, floating pivot is already covered. So uh, no, I want minus 90. I want them to turn that way. There we go. So we're going to see what it looks like with them facing the audience at all times, like a core band would. Don't ever do this if you have a military band, okay? Don't ever do it. So there they go. And you see their body, the front of their body is still facing that way, it's still facing toward the audience. We want to change that. So we want to follow the direction of the movement. But now... This creates a second problem. Watch the pivots here, the stationary pivots in real view. Ready? Here they go. Now, they're being weird. They are being weird. I'll do it one more time so you can see. I'm going to go way up close to them. Okay, here they go. This one's actually trying, but this one is not. So we're going to kind of fix that. So they were originally facing that way on count one. Now y'all hush, I, I'll be okay. All right, so we're going to use our box tool and I'm going to change my default to Mr. Box here. So one, two, and I'm gonna highlight those two stationary pivots and then move it by one count. The magic is down here in the wheel. They're going to face that fixed direction first. Okay, they face toward the audience first. And this may be a bit of overkill for some of y'all, but let me tell you, this it, it helps to visualize it and it helps to see how your program is actually going to work. I'm going to then move it up, move yellow up to one, red to four. Now, by this point, you're going to have your stationary pivots face that, sorry, it's that mirror option again in Zoom, okay? I'm sorry, that's that. You're going to have them face that way. You're going to have them take the three counts to turn, ending at count four. Apply the change. And then at eight, we're going to move yellow to four, have them, and then red to eight over those four counts. They're going to take, uh, they're going to face this way now. 
they're going to take what four counts to turn ending at count eight. Now, does that seem like overkill? Sometimes I feel like it too. I'll show you a way, I'll show you an interesting expansion that we're using the pinwheel in just a second, okay? So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see, they've made it. They have made it. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna add some more squads in here, but I'm also going to change the grid back to eight to five. So please give me just one moment here and I will come right back. All right, we are back and I'm on the eight to five grid. But again, the same principle for this kind of deal will apply to a six to five grid. But I tend to run, if I'm six to fiving, I'll have squads of three at best, four if, I'm, if I really want to push it. On an eight to five grid, it's squads of four, five if I really want to push it. But I, I, I don't know. I just thought maybe, maybe it's just time for a little change here today. So we're kicking it up in the eight to five grid. So I'm gonna add some page tabs again, cause I had to re I'd do a new file. So I have a zero. I'm gonna make, uh, let's just say 16. We'll have them move forward 16 and then one pinwheel and then another pinwheel. All right. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I put eight, I'm thinking eight count pinwheels. No wonder it wouldn't, no wonder it wouldn't work right. Um, <laughs> I need to eliminate eight. There we go. Now I need to make a 32. Now we're done. <laughs> it has been one of those kinds of days already. I promise you. It's been, I, I promise you, I'm not this crazy all the time. Just only most of the time. Oh, uh, no, you hush. Now, so. Here we go. I'm going to have them go up by 16 counts. So we're just going to have them move up with the push. Okay. So down by eight. And then we hit accept. I don't know why that worked, but it just did. Uh, <laughs> all right. Next up is our pinwheel. Now, I am not going to have, and I'm going to box again. Close, yes, I want that to default because I want to highlight these front people. Now, I'm not going to do that tr the trickery that I normally have to do in the visual editor. I did this on accident one day with this exact, with, with this exact kind of uh, setup and a pinwheel out. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to keep that. Okay, so these are not going to go through the visual editor this time but I will have them go on the next pinwheel, okay? Don't, don't ever do two pinwheels in a row. Please don't. Um, I'll tell you that in just a minute. I'll tell you why in just a minute here, but I'm going to go ahead, select these ones out. And remember, hit the left mirror, boom. Now I'm gonna move my pivots down to here. Okay, and then we're gonna go 90, which means the other side goes negative 90. As you'll remember, I'm on box, so let me just do that. Uh, remember, hit the left mirror. Move your pivot down here to a stationary pivot. Whoops, and remember, they're going to move minus 90 because they're inverted. So you want them to be have a symmetrical wheel out, okay? so. I'm going to show you just those first 24 counts so you can see what I'm talking about, okay? But I'm going to shrink that first. I'm going to show you it twice, one for each view, okay? Here is the grid view. And there they go, out on the wheel. Now. I'm going to expand my real view window because I really want you to see this, ready? I really want you to see how neat of, how neat of an expansion move this kind of made. So here we go. So here they are coming up, they're coming up 16 counts. 
And here's the and here's the expansion. It what on earth did they do? He oh, they're getting wiggly butted, didn't they? They are wiggly butted. Hold on. I know how to fix that. I don't even know why it wiggly, but they wiggly butted, but they did. All right. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to box them up. I know. And then on this pinwheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want them to face a fixed direction. I don't know why they're they're not doing the pinwheel. I want them to do it. It, this worked in older versions too, by the way. This works in version seven. All right, so here we go. Kaboom, back we go. Take two. <laughs> Take two. I think I found some real view problems. All right, there we go. Now they go. And one still has, and this one right here still has a lower body wiggly butt problem, but you saw the effect. You saw the effect this is giving, right? Where they're just, these guys down here are stationary. These ones right there are stationary. And then the rest of them are and expanding out. All right, so for my last one here, I'm gonna make one more pinwheel. Don't ever do this, okay? Don't try this at home. Uh, because if you do, I, I have discovered that uh, you know, 180 degrees tends to push the limits of people when it comes to a pinwheel. Okay, so that's the basic reason why I'll go into that in just a minute. Okay, I, I will go into this and, and all right, now make sure they go minus 90. Now, I want my pivots here once again to do that to do maneuvers, to do the maneuvering, right? So, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I've already plotted a move. All right, so close. They are facing that way first, right? So, so make, so we move it up just like we did on the other ones, okay? And now they're gonna face this way taking three counts, ending 28, okay, and then 32, they're going to be this way, take four counts to move, ending at 32. All right, same deal with the other crew here. Now, oh, come here now, one. So on count one, I'm gonna have them hit like that, okay? Then four, they hit that way. And we want, oh, sorry, three counts to turn, ending 28. I forgot to do that part. And then here's our end. Take three, ending, and you're going to now, oh, oh, I messed that up, didn't I? I, I did, uh oh, I did, I did same instead of, instead of mirrored. Oh, done. All right, so part one, they're right. Three, they need to go this way because I kind of boo-booed. I kind of boo-booed and thought about the diagonal, the diagonal rather than where the player has to face. That is a trap of this. So that is a huge trap. So take four ending and there we go. The rest of them need to follow the direction of the movement. There we go. So let's just show off the whole thing. I'm gonna shrink real view one more time. And here we go. So here they are coming up 16 counts. And wheel number one and wheel number two. So here we go. And I'm gonna stretch out my real view window one more time so you can see it happen. All right, here we go. From the top, here they go. Now they're coming up in real view. Wheel one. And remember one of them's gonna have, a couple of them's got wiggly butt problems and there they go. I think somebody got split in half. This poor, this poor fella got split in half on that because they're, uh, they're, they're, 
<laughs> their bottom half was going this way and the top half was facing this way. So that I, I guess that's going to be some real view problems. I, this is why I don't, uh, this is, <laughs> oh, sometimes I prefer the simplicity of version seven. All right, so let me go ahead. Let me get to this point here where I can say, what I need to say about the about wheel maneuvers. I would never, ever, 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 even with a block band, a, a, a in East Texas block band, I would not do more than a 90 degree pinwheel. 180 degrees is pushing it. And I mean, it's pushing it really, really bad. I've seen groups do, a 720 degree pinwheel. So they're going around twice. So that's 8, 16, 20, 4, 32, 40, 40, 8, 56, 64 counts. 64 counts. That is forever in band world. I don't care if you're military or core. 64 counts is forever. If you're going to do something, do something besides going around and around and around. Okay? Do something different. Do something innovative. Okay? But just don't take that spot as, oh, we got a pinwheel. Okay, let's go around. 32 counts. 64. No. Please. Please. Be a little more innovative than that kind of a deal. Okay, and that, that I'm going to get off my soapbox here because sometimes I just preach to the choir. And so, and you know what, everybody? I want you to have a great day, great weekend, and happy drilling. All right, practice in the visual editor and try to make sure that your wheel maneuvers are going to actually look right. And if they got wiggly butt syndrome, you're going to have to dig deeper into that visual editor to fix that, okay? But for the purposes of showing how the drill is gonna, gonna look close to real life, I don't worry about wiggly butt syndrome. I know it's gonna fix itself in the long run, okay? So until then, have a great day, happy drilling, and I'll see you next time.